So, first time I tried to make this video, I got a massive nosebleed. So let's hope that doesn't happen again. I'm in my living room today, which is different. Blah, blah, blah. Right, okay, so today I'm going to talk about Justin Bieber. Before you're all like, ew, Justin Bieber fever, dislike, um, let me explain. I had this really weird dream last night. I blame it completely on the fact that I watched uh, Comeback from the newest Glee episode yesterday. Yeah, so in this dream, I was at my school and we had an assembly in the Performing Arts Center, which I mean, you know, isn't weird. But then it turned into this crazy, like, dance ceremony for a different school, and I got really confused, so I was like, uh, I'm leaving. And I walk out the door, right, but I look around and I recognize absolutely nothing. It was actually kind of scary. I didn't know where I was. I look at my watch and it's like 6.30, which is really weird because I went to the assembly when it was like noon. And so I'm kind of freaking out and I want to call my mom and tell her to come pick me up, but I don't know where I am and I don't know how to explain how I got there. I don't know if you can tell, but I've been sick for the past few days, so I'm really nasally. Please don't judge. I, I guess I'm in this like parking garage thing, right? But like the area looks exactly like a hallway in my school and I'm like oh I know where I am but then I go to the stairs and they're all blocked off I'm like what the heck and there's elevators which my school doesn't have elevators but so like I try to go on the elevator right but then this like fat dude comes over and is trying to come on to me and is like hey you want to get together sister and I'm like uh no so I run over to the other elevator so I don't get stuck in the elevator with this fat guy that wants to hook up with me and, but then he runs over there, so I spend like the next 10 minutes switching between elevators trying to get away from this fat dude. And I finally get out of the parking garage, and I see this guy that I recognize from like my third period science class, right? And I'm like, oh my god, Colby, I'm so glad you're here. Where are we? I'm so confused. And he's like, oh, hi, Saya. What are you doing here? And I explained to him how I just kind of woke up, and I was in that, um parking garage and I was really confused and I don't know how I got here. I'm just like, oh, that's weird. So me and him are walking towards a train station or something, I don't really know. And then all of a sudden these fangirls come out of nowhere and attack us because apparently Kobe is famous in my dreamland, which is weird. Like, these fangirls are like, oh my god, oh my god, and I'm just like, oh my god, oh my god. So I do the only thing I know what to do. I scream bloody murder. JUSTIN BIEBER! And then Justin Bieber comes flying out of nowhere and he's like dun 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 and he fends off all the fangirls which is really amazing because he's Justin frickin Bieber. Side note, Justin Bieber looked more like Sam Chewy with like blondish hair. It was weird. It was weird. And so after he fends off all these fangirls he's like Sayakon, come with me! And he grabs my hand and runs off to, like, Cheesecake Factory. And I'm like, I'm so confused! And all the fangirls that he, like, beat up back there is like, OMG, Justin Bieber has a girlfriend? And he was like, oh, you know what would really drive them crazy? If we, like, tripped and I fell on top of you. And I was just like, yeah, whatever, Justin, and he trips me, and I fall, and he falls on top of me, and I'm just like... <laughs> but apparently I liked him in the dream, I guess, because I just kind of laughed. Ugh. And then I did something weird. But it's okay, because he looked like Sam Chewy, and Sam Chewy's kind of hot, so whatever. We got on a train, and it wasn't really him anymore, it was like this girl. So we're on this train, and we're like talking about ghost stories or something, like each of us was assigned a ghost story, and we were just supposed to talk about it. My ghost story was like this jeep filled with guys, like teenage boys, that died in a car accident with, because they were drunk or something, I don't know. And they just go, HAPPY VALENTINE'S DAY, and they crush you with their car. Like, how terrifying is that? My half-sister, she was scared to cross the road because she didn't want to get hit by a Valentine's Day jeep. Yeah. So that's pretty much the end of the dream, but, um... So I was gonna talk about Justin Bieber. My friend Lauren texted me earlier and was like... Oh my gosh, I'm reading an article about Justin Bieber. I'm not sure about the political parties, but whatever they have in Korea is bad. You're kidding me. Oh my gosh. So, 
Justin Bieber, just so you know, there's no political parties in Korea. And, uh, second thing, there's no such thing as Korea. There's South Korea and there's North Korea. South Korea is good. They're good. North Korea has communism, which I suppose is what you're talking about when you say there's whatever they have in Korea is not good. <coughs> and, that uh, Justin Bieber, you're a knockout. Oh, my throat hurts now. That cough was killer. <laughs> So, yeah, I guess that kind of concludes my rant about Justin Bieber, because I don't know enough about him to talk about him. <laughs>